So recently I made a video showing how I improved my game animations for my game Blood and Mead. And people were very interested in my approach because they saw I was using Adobe Animate, which is a little bit more uncommon with people often favoring um, Spine and um, Spriter. So in this video, we're gonna cover how to get animations out of Adobe Animate into Texture Packer, which is like a bridging tool, and bring them into um, Unity. And this workflow allows us to create resizable, crisp animations without that common wobble you might find um, when creating animation states directly in Unity. All right, so jumping over to my um, game's Adobe Animate scene, if I hit Control Enter to run it, I can run all the different animations at once. <laughs> It's quite, um, quite a spectacle to see it all like this. So why Adobe Animate? Adobe Animate is based on a lossless vector format. And what that means is, if I zoom in on any of these um, animations, you'll see the lines remain perfectly sharp. There's absolutely no artifacting or anything like that, which you'll find with raster bitmap formats. If I go into some of these animations, um, so we'll go into go into this one here, and you can see down here I can get access to the timeline, and that's for a turn animation. And what you can do here, you can then turn off different layers, and and here you can um, you can go into Nesta Children, and you can see here now, I can use the handles to drag the raw vector path. Doing so has updated it on all the different um, clips because all those clips are using that same shared instance across the board. So you can edit one and change them all. Very, very powerful. If you wanna see more about how I actually construct my animations, I recommend you jump over to the video where I go into a bit more depth showing how I actually assemble the animations. So now we need to get the um, animation out of Adobe Animate. So you do so by finding the clip you want to export. In this case, we're gonna go with the idle, right click. What we wanna do, we wanna export the, um, the PNG sequence. We'll find a new folder to park these guys in, and I'll just call this one, I'll call this one idle two, because I've got a bunch of different idles that I've used for different examples. So idle two, hit save, um, export and now you'll want to get the um, texture packer software so if you just type texture packer in your browser this first result here should take you to the texture packer website and here you get a bunch of info and previews about the uh, software as well as all the different platforms it uh, supports um, you can see unity and a bunch of other game making frameworks it's not free this is a very important note but I mean, if you're serious about making your animations in Animate and you're familiar with that tool from when it was known as um, Flash, very different to the Flash player, by the way. Um, Flash is not dead, the Flash player is dead. Um, Flash as an animation tool is still very widely used um, commercially on enterprise level and in games. So don't get confused between those two. Um, but yeah, like um, if you're serious about making um, animations in Animate, then Texture Packer really is um, the most cost-effective solution in terms of the time you save um, is really like no, be no better path. And you can see here they've got discounts for indies and just to be clear I have absolutely no affiliation with Texture Packer. I simply use it, that's it. So once you've installed Texture Packer you just want to open it up and here it's a very um, relatively easy to understand interface. You can bring in the sprites um, in a few different ways. Here you can simply drag them in or you can hit this add sprite button. And holding shift, we just want to select all our clips, hit open, and that brings them all in nice and neat. You can change a bunch of the different um, packing formats. Like um, you can set some limitations as to how big you want your sprite sheets to be and power of two or not. But for the most part, you don't have to pay too much attention to these. Um, things. It's relatively automated. So Texture Packer is basically allowing us to remember the registration points from our animation software. If we went directly from Adobe Animate, um, set up some kind of custom registrations 
there and then try to bring it over to Unity, Unity will forget all that registration information. So Texture Packer allows us a way to remember and store the pivot points so that we can bring them into Unity. So clicking um, any one of these clips, we can then hit this pivot point button at the top. And this takes us into pivot point mode. And this is really cool. So here you can drag around this pivot point. I'll just zoom in with my mouse wheel a little bit. Find a nice spot. And you can see here the normalized value is, um, I might just round this up to 4, 0.4 and 0. And what we can do now, we can um, shift select all of these and paste in that value, hit enter, check this out. You can see the pivot point has updated on all these different clips. So that's really cool. So no matter which one I click on, even though there's a slight um, wobble in the character because he's changing his um, shape, um, the pivot point's always going to be in the middle. So now we want to export these out of Texture Packer so we can bring them into Unity. Um, and it's very easy to do that. We hit that little folder button. So here we'll go player underscore idle and we'll hit save. After that, you'll just want to hit this publish sprite sheet. And that'll automatically create a special Texture Packer format file. So we hit OK on that. And now we can bring this exported file into Unity. But before we do that, we'll need to um, install the um, Texture Packer plugin for Unity. So just go to the Asset Store um, within your game project and just type in Texture Packer and you'll see um, this package here from the Code and Web company. So install that into your scene. In Unity from here, we can just find that file that we created in Texture Packer, so player idle 2. And that sprite sheet, you can see it here as a preview. So what we do here, we don't have to go into the sprite editor, but I'll click on it just to show you guys what's happened. So if I hit sprite editor, normally, as you guys know, you'll have to set the slices here and do all this stuff. Texture Pack has done it all for us. Everything is pre-sliced. And if you look carefully here, all the pivot points are already set and they're set in the perfect spot to avoid any kind of wobble. Um, so all we need to do is simply drag that um, text pack a sprite sheet into our scene. And here we just are prompted to create a new animation. So I'll call this one player idle 2 and I like to use an underscore TP just to remind me that this is a um, texture packer based animation and we'll just get the animator window open and I've got a bunch of animations here <laughs> so all we do then is simply bring your animation clip onto the player so now that new animation is officially part of the player and from there we simply go into our code and make the necessary adjustments to play that animation and I'll give you guys a preview now of um, my game using the texture packer animation. This glorious scene here with nice texture packer created <clears throat> animations. And you can see that idle is looking very nice. And one thing you can do from here, which is a bit of a trick, um, if you can find that sprite sheet, open it in Photoshop, you can um, apply like a stroke and I've just got it, this kind of um, inner glow effect that I use. So if I just zoom in here, you can see this little inner stroke I've created on the player. And what I'll do, I'll just resave that, just override the previous one. So if we look now, we can see we have this lovely stroke around the player. And if we zoom in a bit, it just helps to kind of um, dis make it distinct from the background just so it doesn't blend in, to create a nice, nice differentiation between the foreground elements, the background, and the actual play space. You can see here, all the animations are very smooth, very clean, very crisp. This is my game Blood and Meat, guys, by the way. Um, I'll be make, I just added a really cool combat system that you guys can see here. And I'll be making a devlog very soon showing how I um, made the system and all the fun it was. So if you guys want to see that and want to see more about how I um, made this game, please do subscribe to the channel as there'll be plenty more.
videos and tutorials coming up. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below and thanks to my monthly Patreons up here. You guys are really cool. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for supporting this channel. See you in the next video and as always, all the best on your game dev adventures.